everybody, welcome to The Reluctant Chef. I am Sue Moulton, your Pampered Chef Consultant, and today we are gonna make a one pot pasta. Super easy to make, it is one of those things that um, I love to throw together. Uh, it's got a lot of vegetables, you can do some substitutes if you don't like certain ingredients, and you can kind of really make it your own. So this recipe calls for carrots and broccoli in it um, and sun-dried tomatoes. We don't, um, some of the people in the home don't like sun-dried tomatoes. So we're gonna use a can of fire roasted uh, tomatoes instead. So you can substitute what works for your family. So we're gonna start with our 12 quart stock pot that Pamper Chef makes. It has um, a couple of elements that you can add on as well. This is our large um, strainer, silicone strainer. This can be used if you're um, you know, cooking like a roast a chicken that you're boiling down to make a turkey or, or a chicken soup and pull out the whole carcass here. You can collapse it once and you can be cooking your vegetables in the top and you can cook you know, your pasta in the bottom or you can collapse it the full way and you can use this as a steamer um, on the top or you can use it um, uh, to keep it like a boil over no more so it won't, uh, the starch just won't boil over. The last way you can use this is it can be a trivet as well for a large pot. We don't need this for this recipe specifically. Um, the covers, when you put the cover on sideways where the edges are off to the side, like this, it is completely um, flat and there's no gap on the edge. When you line the handles up with the handles here, it makes it so that you can put your thumbs on here and drain, you know, you're gonna drain the water and see the little, little bit of a gap there? That allows steam to come out when you're cooking. So I'll probably be keeping it on that um, type of lid. So we're gonna um, start with taking our lid off. We're gonna put the burner, the top burner, onto a, uh, a medium temperature, and we're gonna go ahead and saute some garlic in there. So to saute garlic, I'm gonna use a knife because I have arthritis in my thumbs. So I cut the um, tips off my garlic and the bottoms off my garlic, and that just makes it a little bit easier to push through our garlic press. Now keep in mind, if you um, need the Barbie hairbrush, the little cleaning tool that goes with it, um, you can order that off of the replacement parts list on a party. And we do have a party going uh, right now, so if you need the link, just shoot me a message. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, um, now normally, if you're using the um, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, there's oil that comes with the sun-dried tomatoes and you would put that in the bottom of the pot in order to saute your garlic in that. But because I'm not using sun-dried tomatoes, I am just going to add a little olive oil to that. Now, do you notice that um, putting it with the skins on, I'm using the garlic with the skins right on here, because you do not have to smell like garlic just because you're cooking. And um, also notice, see how the, um, the skin comes right off on the hopper, and I'm just using the little hook here to flick the garlic skin off. So again, I am um, not smelling like garlic, although I will taste like garlic later, which is good. Um, we like to cook a lot with um, onions and garlic because they're so good for your health. You wanna make sure that you don't burn your garlic. So you wanna make sure that the temperature is on a, a medium temperature and uh, depending upon what else you're cooking, you wanna make sure that um, you have sauteed your onions or you have um, cooked your vegetables, etc. before you put your garlic in um, or you wanna do your garlic and then you wanna pull your garlic out or make sure that you're having um, a liquid that is gonna keep your garlic from searing in the pan. You don't want it to get um, to get all burnt on, that chucky. Okay, so we're gonna use our vegetable peeler. For those of you out there that are left-handed, this peels in both directions. You guys, if you've been with me for a while, know that um, I use it all the time. As a demo, Pampered Chef's founder, Doris Christopher, she was left-handed, so she made a lot of tools so that they work for lefties. I guess you guys have problems with scissors and other um, knives that are only <coughs> sharpened on one side. So Doris made sure that that would not happen for you. <laughs> Even our old, um, for those of you who have been around long enough, we used to have one of those rotary cheese graters like you see at Olive Garden. And um, that, 
was switch, you could switch the handle to the other side. Um, and let me just grab my compost stuff. And, um, and then you could, you could grate cheese lefty. Okay, so I have peeled my three carrots. I am going to use a polyurethane cutting board because you want your knives to groove into your cutting board. You don't want them to be on glass, granite, or um, or hard wood because the knives can get dull from that. So we're just going to uh, trim the ends off that. Now we're gonna use our new rapid prep mandolin. Uh, this has multiple settings on the back. There are two dials. If you've missed it before, I'm going to show you again. There are two dials here. There's cut, then there's french fry, and then there's julienne, and then there's one through nine. And there are settings for julienne and for french frying on here as well. You probably heard when I lifted it off the counter that it has that sil um, the silicone uh, little stickies to keep it onto your countertop. Uh, the pusher has a release so that when you're storing it, you can just close the case where the blade goes and it's easy to assemble. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put our carrots in here. Um, I'm not sure if it says two carrots, three carrots. I just, um, it says two, I'm putting extra carrots and extra broccoli in um, to this recipe just because you can't have enough veggies. Um, so. important to use um, a slicer and not a knife. Other than the fact that it is super fast to cut it all, you're going to get the same thickness with your carrots so they will cook at the same time frame. So I find that that's super helpful. So this was on slice and it was on number slice on number five. So it's about the average thickness. Then while um, our garlic is warming up, let me just get a, um, a large spoon uh, to stir. That's the one we want to use. I have so many in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut our broccoli florets. When you are doing broccoli or celery or um, any vegetable really, if you save your ends and you freeze them in a freezer Ziploc bag, you can throw that in when you are boiling the carcass of your chicken to make your chicken stock and you'll add a lot of nutrients into it. So speaking of nutrients, we're gonna talk about um, some of our rubs and um, pantry items. You will see that Pampered Chef has kale and fiber, we have pea protein, and we have super veggie. So if you are not getting enough vegetables into your diet, you can take a scoop of super veggie and it has broccoli, mushroom, pumpkin, parsnip, cauliflower, Mm, there's one other vegetable that they've dehydrated and they've put into a powdered form. So it is one serving per scoop um, of vegetables. So it'll help you and your children and your husband or anybody in your family that maybe doesn't eat enough vegetables or doesn't eat um, um, regularly throughout the day. That is uh, really good to do. So we're gonna go ahead and break up a little bit more broccoli. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three cups of uh, low sodium chicken broth. You can use regular chicken broth, we're using low sodium. And I'm just gonna pour it into my um, silicone prep bowl. They come as a set of three. They come with covers and um, they are great for when you're trying to um, get chocolate or some other um, a specific amount of drizzle um, or like if you're doing like a, a powdered sugar drizzle over a cake it's really great for that okay let me just check all right so we're gonna go ahead and add that in now 
and let's just read our directions here so we do not miss. Okay, add broth, turn to high. So we're gonna turn this up to high because we're gonna get this going. Heat until high, cover, and then we're gonna stir in the pasta. So the pasta is gonna cook, we're gonna put a whole box of penne noodle in there. The pasta is gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to toss in um, our carrots, our tomatoes, our broccoli, and we're gonna uh, stir that in together for two to four minutes. And then we're gonna add um, a half a block of cream cheese. And the cream cheese makes it like an alfredo we sauce. It makes it really yummy. So let me just show you the um, can opener. So we're gonna use a smooth edge can opener. Remember that the helicopter blade flies on top. So you're gonna stick that onto the can and you're gonna turn it. It will grab the can and you're just gonna go around um, completely until you hear the little click. Now this recipe can be done in our pressure cooker, which by the way, our pressure cooker is um, on special. Uh, in the month of July, there is a 25% um, off special that is going on and I'll post that below if you're interested in that. Um, and you could do this in about, um, I'm thinking it's three or four minutes on high in the pressure cooker. I was trying to look up the, the details for that and I got, um, I got distracted so I forgot to do that. So I'm just gonna do it in the pot like I normally do it, but you can do it in the pressure cooker. Um, so that's it, and then we're gonna top this with some fresh Parmesan cheese and we'll be all done. So super easy. Uh, garlic, sun-dried tomatoes or a can of tomatoes, four cloves of garlic, a head of broccoli, two carrots, salt, pepper, fresh Parmesan cheese, that's it. One pot pasta, dinner's ready in about 15 or 20 minutes. I appreciate you guys being a part of my VIP group and the Reluctant Chef. If you have any questions for me, I would be happy to uh, let you know. And make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting a bunch of um, specials that are going on uh, for the month of July, but also a bunch of the rubs and uh, batters, like beer batter, uh, donut mix, um, pancake mix, some of those, uh, the raspberry habanero. So if you haven't seen the spices and rubs, if you haven't tried our pantry products, you definitely should try that. And um, I will see you all online. Thanks for watching The Reluctant Check.